Good morning to all the students of class 8. Today I am going to teach you one chapter through online video. So we will start the first chapter that is rational numbers. Okay? So let's begin. First of all, we will revise some different types of numbers that we have already studied in previous classes. Natural numbers. Natural numbers we know that starts from 1, 2, 3 and so on. There is no end. Okay? And whole numbers starts from 0, then 1, then 2 and so on. There is no end here also. Okay? Now the integers. Integers are the collection of all the positive numbers and all the negative numbers and together with 0. We write 0 in the middle and all the positive numbers on the right side and all the negative number on the left side. Okay? And there is no end on the right side also as well as on the left side also. Okay? Now we will start to discuss the main topic of this chapter, rational numbers. So what is rational numbers? A number P by Q is said to be rational number if P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. So let me explain about this definition of rational numbers. A number P by Q means P represents the numerator and Q represents the denominator. A number P by Q is said to be rational number if P and Q means the numerator and the denominator are integers, are among the integers and Q not equal to 0. Means the denominator should not be equal to 0. This type of numbers are called rational numbers. For examples, I have written some examples here. Minus 3 by 7 is a rational number. Why? Because minus 3 and 7 are the integers and the denominator that is 7 is not equal to 0. Here also 4 by 9, 8 by minus 11, minus 13 by minus 40 all are rational numbers because it satisfies this two conditions. What are the two conditions? Here all the numerators and denominators are integers and denominators are not equal to 0. So here I have given some more examples of rational numbers. 0 by 8 and 0 by minus 5 are also rational numbers. Here 0 by 8, the numerator 0 and the denominator 8 are integers and the denominator 8 is not equal to 0. In the same way, 0 by minus 5 is also a rational number. Now, all the integers here are also the rational numbers. Why? Because if we write an integer, for example 9, then there is a 1 in its denominator. So it satisfies the both the conditions of rational number that 9 and 1 are integers and the denominator that is 1 is not equal to 0. Okay? And in the same way minus 14 by 1 is also a rational number. Now the standard form. 
what is the standard form of a rational number here it is written a rational number p by q is said to be in standard form if p and q have no common divisor and q is positive let me explain once again a rational number p by q is said to be in standard form if p and q have no common divisor means there will not be any number that will divide the numerator p and the denominator q both and the q means denominator should be positive integers clear here some examples are 4 by 5 minus 6 by 13 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 4 are in standard form here there is no any number which will divide the numerator and the denominator in all the examples okay and the denominators are positive integers so here all the numbers are in standard form now we are going to discuss the different properties of rational numbers here properties of addition of rational numbers means these properties are related with addition of rational numbers so under this category the first property is closer property so what is the closer property here it is written if two rational numbers are added together the result is always a rational number means whenever we add any two rational numbers we will get a single number and that single number will always be a rational number here i have given some examples so the first we are going to add 3 by 12 and 5 by 16 so i have written 3 by 12 here and 5 by 16 here and i have put plus sign in between these two rational numbers why because we have to add these two rational numbers okay so as we have already solved this kind of questions in the previous classes what we do we take the lcm of the denominators here denominators are 12 and 16 and the lcm of 12 and 16 is 48 okay so we will write this lcm 48 in the denominator okay now what we are going to write in the numerator in the numerator we will write first we will divide this 48 by 12 the answer is 4 and this 4 is multiplied with 3 the answer is 12 and we will write 12 here and we again put the sign plus here and we will divide this 48 by 16 the answer is 3 and 3 is multiplied with 5 the answer is 15 and this 15 we will write here okay now 12 plus 15 27 and in the denominator same 48 is there clear so this answer 27 by 48 is also a rational number and and this proves the closer property means when we add two different rational numbers we will get the result and the result is also a rational number Now we are going to do an another example. Addition of five by eight and minus seven by six. I have written five by eight here 
and minus 7 by 6 here and I have put plus sign in between these two rational numbers. Here before going to take the LCM of 8 and 6, first we will multiply this plus sign and this minus sign and plus into minus is minus. So we will write minus here and 5 by 8 here and 7 by 6 here. Okay. Now we will take the LCM of 8 and 6 and the LCM of 8 and 6 is 24 and this 24 we will write in, pl in the place of denominator and in numerator what we will write again we will divide 24 by 8 the answer is 3 and 3 into 5 is 15 okay and we will put minus sign here and again divide 24 by 6 the answer is 4 and multiply with 7 4 into 7 28 now plus 15 minus 28 the answer is minus 30 plus minus minus so we will subtract 28 and 15 and the answer is 13 and we will put the greater integer sign minus here and in the denominator same 24 is there and it is also a rational number and it also verifies this closure property. One more example we are going to do under this category closure property. Addition of minus 2 by 15 and 5 by minus 12. So again I have written minus 2 by 15 here, 5 by minus 12 here and I have put plus sign in between these two rational numbers. Here we can see this number is not in the standard form. So first we will change this number into standard form. So what we are going to do? We are going to send this minus sign from denominator to the numerator. Here you can see. Okay. Now, again we will multiply this plus and this minus sign. Plus into minus, minus. So we have put minus sign here. And minus 2 by 15, same here. And 5 by 12, here. Now we will take the LCM of 15 and 12. And the LCM of 12 and 15 is 60. So again we have written 60 in the denominator and in the numerator what we will write? We will divide 60 by 15. Answer is 4. 4 into minus 2 minus 8. And we have put minus sign here. And we will divide the 60 by 12 and the answer is 5 and 5 into 5 is 25 we have written here. Now minus minus plus so 8 and 25 when you add answer is 33 and the greater number sign is minus so we have put here minus sign now the final answer is minus 33 by 60 okay and and this is also a rational number so this example also proves that when we add two different rational numbers we will get the result that is also a rational number. Okay? Now it is the time for home assignment. We have done so many examples here. So with related to these examples, I am going to give you some problems. You will solve these problems. Exercise 1a, the, all the questions of question number 1 and question number 2 and question number 3 you have to solve. Thank you.